those playing points is that that ledge trapping, man. You get stuck at ledge, and it's like you gotta pray. You have to just pray that they that, that they mess up. Alrighty, you can go play your set now. <laughs> Yippee. I just left my controller in here. Okay, you're gonna see me on stream, so if you're tuned in at home, make sure you just uh you clap really loudly. Yep. Okay, and it looks like we're gonna have Miruku versus Trap House here. Uh, Pikachu versus Snake. So in general, I feel like uh, Pikachu does have a lot of stuff against Snake, but sometimes that weight on his side can work to his detriment a little. But on the other side, Pikachu does have a lot of mobility. And just so many good combos against the character. I don't think he... The only thing I could look at that he might have a hard time doing is punishing him. Because he doesn't have a hard... Like, he doesn't have anything strong enough with white p down snakes recovery. And nice up smash coming from Trap House there. But enough, answering back with a forward smash. Not going to quite kill yet. Going for another forward. Double forward smash. It's such a good ledge trapping option. But Snake is so... Bit more on the heavy side, so it's not going to quite kill, but nice thunder coming from Miruku, catching that high recovery. That's another thing about snakes, they love to go high if the character doesn't have an option to deal with it, but Miruku is so consistent with hitting those thunders. Even then, it's still even in stocks, but Pikachu has so much to even up there, slightly missing up his Nair loops. Forward air, forward air, not gonna quite connect though. Accidentally had a grenade in his hand, I think he was trying to go for forward tilt there. C4 is on him right now, it's such a scary situation, he goes for the air dodge there. Not quite catching it, goes, goes for the thunder, not gonna quite catch it either. C4 still on Pika. Nice shield coming from Miraku though. And another forward smash coming from Miraku to seal out that stock for Trap House. Trap House still not catching on to that forward smash. Up tilt coming from Trap House. Gonna quite seal that stock out. Pikachu is super dead. And this is a run back from earlier in the bracket. Trap House had it succeeded against Miraku, but unfortunately they're running it back now. Maybe they've made some adaptations mid-tournament. Maybe they're slightly more warmed up. 
Or maybe Trap House has still got this on lock. Trap needs his invincibility from the throw to not knock him back off stage. Not gonna quite connect though. Getting up throw, slightly missing his conversion though. Getting another up throw, it's gonna hit his conversion. Miraku winning his first game of this set. I don't know if we're gonna see a switch off here, but Trap House is known to have that beat gunner in that back pocket. Okay, starting this match off on Hollow Bastion, Trap House's pick, which I can honestly get behind this pick because Zoners love that middle platform so much. They, I, I think a lot of people have called it the Zoners house because it's so hard to land on a Zoner in that middle platform because if you go on that middle platform they have so many options, plus Snake C4 is going to connect if you go under that platform there. As you can see, goes for it right there, maybe checking Miraku to see if he knows that. Up there, up there, not gonna quite connect. Miraku is really good at finding his options, getting the Nair down smash, they couldn't quite connect there. Almost died for it, that grenade is such a good option. If you just pull it frame one, it could change your air grip, it could do everything, it could break a combo such as Nair down smash. But Pika getting that dash attack out of the corner. Okay, starting his Nair loop, slightly messing it up though. Gideon's gonna get up tilt for it for being a little too fancy above Snake. It's such a good option to pull out of Snake because if you're above me, up tilt. You're gonna be around above me, up tilt. You gonna roll? I'm gonna run and up tilt you. It's such a good kill confirm. A kill move from Snake, it's so deceivingly big too. Up tilt once again, sealing out that stock. Trap House was down quite the deficit there, but now he's just bringing it right back. Quick attack, gonna get punished. He's choosing attack and get up. Slightly missing the forward smash there. Back air out of shield, gonna get hit by Snake's forward tilt. That down air, I guess, is strong enough. Nice roll read coming from Yuriku there to seal out the stock. They are even once again. Just one Pikachu combo away from even it in percents too. Up there, up there. Goes for the thunder there. Goes for another thunder. Already, Yuriku taking the lead. That's what's so crazy about Pika. He has such good combo conversions and so many things that just string together moves as well. It doesn't ha necessarily have to be true. Going for that down air there, not gonna quite connect. Trap House trying to run away from this menace. Slightly misses his thunder though. Getting back aired. Like I said, almost went for another move there, but just didn't quite connect. Up smash, such a good ledge trap option. Just seals out a place she can go in general which that's the entire thing about snake he is playing zone control at all times catches the rolling get up with an up smash shutter rigger winning another game as you can see these players are really good at playing around each other they might have played quite a few times from all i know Looks like they're gonna be banning stages right now. Dracula's Castle, you wanna go? Oh, we're going to PS2. Which is honestly a really good stage for Snake as well. Once again, not seeing a character switch.
So they're just gonna start around, but honestly, honestly, Trap House really uh working off of this extra space. But Miraku, it could also be just as good for Miraku because Mir is pick a T jump camping kind of go insane. Miraku not gonna quite see out that stock, that four tail just not they're not quite strong enough to break snake. Just going for that forward smash there, it's such a good move, you don't really get punished off of using it, so honestly, kinda don't blame them for doing it. Okay, out there, gonna break out of there, but there, going for the most random forward smash I've seen in my life, but hey, we got that read, it kinda would've been insane. Back air, back air, back air, such a good Pikachu trademark. Going for the spike there, not gonna quite connect, just going for another one, maybe expecting him to land on him a little faster. Didn't quite go through though. Getting the drag down there, don't know where he was going after that though. TJ into off smash, gonna kill because Trap House was DIing in. Pikachu kind of blowing up. Nikita on deck, tries to trade with the Nikita. Not quite gonna hit the Nikita out of the air though. Even in percent right now, that's such a scary situation near that C4. Pikachu going for Thunder, not gonna quite connect. Okay, there into that grab. Grenade breaking it though, going for another crazy forward smash. Trap House just kind of standing there. Going for that forward tilt there, not gonna quite hit. Just really looking for a way in right now. Miraku does not want to lose this game. Because if he loses this, he could just lose... He'll lose the counter pick advantage. Going for the up smash, not going to quite hit. Nice roll, but Trap House ready for it. Probably has seen that roll a million times. This type of grab on the wake up from the neutral tech and getting up there for it. Trap House up. One, two, one. <laughs> so we're gonna see the bands come in. Not quite sure what they're going to ban. Okay, switching to the Violet. Quite an unexpected pick, but he is here. Which we will see right away. This is not quite looking up for Miraku, but maybe Miraku just needs a little time to warm up into the Violet. I have not seen them play Violet all tournament. Ducking under the air though, Snake kinda has a big crouch there. Not quite expecting it. Setting up the up smash there, tries to go for a down smash read because Miraku's been rolling out of that situation every time. Not quite connecting. Down tilt in the fair, going to go for a forward tilt to cover that option. Not gonna quite work out. Getting the back air, just getting the better trade in that situation. Which, that situation was so fast-paced that some players have a hard time keeping up with it. Gonna get that down smash, catching Miraku doing the drop-down side beat. It's a really good option, but if you get called out for it, it is going to hurt so much. Miraku side beam off that platform, side beam again, I guess that is his goat. Up air, not gonna quite connect, going for another one, going for a down side beat just to cover the space around him. 
over there. In the ledge trap scenario right now, tries to go for a hard read with that up smash, unfortunately facing the wrong way. Going for another up smash, going for three up smashes, just barely missing that up air from Miraku's part. Ducking under that arrow, it's such a good option for any character. Tries to chase him down in time, but Nikita just a little faster than Byleth's run speed. Miraku going for a forward tilt, just covering so many options, but accidentally overextending on Trap House. Trap House back throwing and killing him for it. Trap House so patient around what can get him killed right there. Ducking under the arrow again, you cannot shoot arrow against Snake in this matchup when he is on the ground. Up air gonna seal out that stock. All these games have been really close, even with this Violet. Back air gonna hit him for it. Catching the jump with a Nair, unfortunately in the corner now, back to neutral. But gets hit by the grenade. Hitting a down smash. Going for a forward smash there, Snake can punish it. One of the few characters who has a good enough dash attack. Getting the up tilt, like I said, you above me, I'm up tilting you for it. And Trap House moving on, so we